Is... is she going to make it? I can't lose her. I can't. The bleeding stopped. That's what matters. Tell me. What happened? You appear out of nowhere, with my daughter nearly bleeding to death? I saved Sam. Carried her through a walker-infested forest back to you. When Sam wakes up, we'll see what really happened. Look at me. I don't know who the hell you are, but... Dad! Dad? Where's Greg? I'm so sorry. What? What do you mean? Greg didn't come back with them. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> it's okay, boys. It's okay. I'm Colette? Elodie? You girls in here? You in here?
Parentes. right here. I won't come a step closer, okay? We don't... Have you seen two little girls? My daughters, they lived here with their dad. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know that. You do? El... Uh, Elodie and... Uh, Colette? Yes. I haven't seen them, though. Look, we really can't be here, okay? Where could they have gone? How should I know? I don't know where anyone is. No. Who were you talking to? You were talking to yourself. You okay? I do that sometimes. <laughs> hey, I get that. These days we're all a bit off. John, he... he went to talk to the kids, make sure they're all right, while I watched over you. Sorry about this. John isn't big on people he doesn't know. How are the kids holding up? I don't know. Can't be good. Their brother's dead, sister's shot. I mean, fuck, right? So, yeah, this is where I apologize for almost shooting you. Emphasis on almost. I was just worried. Doesn't matter now. No, I guess not. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not a great shot. That patch of dirt, 
His mom's buried there. The ear is so back, she just... She was sick. Not in the head. Something with her heart. She couldn't handle it, I guess. I tried the same thing. But... I... couldn't do it. I've thought about it. How could you not? But like I said, bad shot. If it wasn't for Sam... Sam. Hey, don't move, okay? Don't move. Sam, no. Mission, we have to help him. You're too weak. Move me up. Just stay down, Sam. Go back to sleep, Sam. But... You need rest. Sam. I know John can make a strong first impression, but he's what's keeping this entire family from being buried out there. You gotta fight like hell for what you care about, right? Something that makes all this shit worth it. Yeah. Fight until the day you die. You'd be crazy to stay here, John. This woman normally will... There's no decision to be made on this. I need a word with you. In private. Do you have children? A son? I do. Two little girls. <sighs> it snowed the day my wife died. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. In the snow. It covered her grave. Erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids. But the past... It always seems to find you. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from harm. But we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's... I could really use your help. Your friend Pete told me all about Norma. About what happened. If she finds us, we wouldn't stand a chance. 
But you seem like someone who can hold their own. Sam said you could help me. If you do that, I'll give you guys a hand. Anything. Whatever you need. Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg never turned into one of these things, did he? Or those... whatever they are. No, he was Greg until the end. <gasps> Thank God. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? Your kids need you to stay strong. You, you're right. I'm all they have. Peekaboo. Got it trapped like a rat now. Find her! Dead yet. Uh, uh, you? 